welcome. My name is Diaper Rathwin Arvinlo, and I'm a blogger and photographer for Second Life. Today I'm going to show you how to make your lighting more dynamic by combining different photos to create lighting that has a little bit more impact. This is also true for shadows, and you can use the same technique for shadows. So we're going to use a blending mode and multiple shots from Second Life with different lighting to create lighting that is a little bit more interesting than what you can get out of Second Life itself. This is also much faster than trying to create the lighting manually. So this is sort of a shortcut way to create more dynamic lighting. So this is one of the many things that I did to this particular photo. This is a recent photo I did where I used this technique and several other techniques to create the effect that I wanted. So we're going to show you today how to create the lighting effect. So what I started with for this image is two images. I started with this image and I started with this image. And you can see that it's basically the same kind of lighting but the lighting is coming from different sides. But if I just did this one, or I just did this one, the lighting really doesn't fully encompass my avatar. So I want to combine the lighting, but I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time on it. And I'd like to end up with something like this. So what I'm going to do is take either one of these pictures. So let's say I'll take this picture. I'm going to hit Control A to select the whole picture and Control C to copy the picture. You can also, of course, use the edit tools instead of shortcuts. Now that I've copied my picture, I'm going to go over to the other one and I'm just going to paste it. I'm going to use Control V to paste the image on top. Now what I want to do is I want to use my blending modes, which are these here, to pull out only the lighter parts of the lighting. So this works best when the lights are very similar but in different places. So what I want to do is go to my blending mode and I'm going to choose lighter color. What that means is it's only going to take the parts of my image that are lighter than the other parts of the image. So the second image has parts that are darker than this image because I have lights here on the back side, right? So I want to choose lighter color. So now this is what I started with and this is what I end up with because I take this one here that has only lighting on this side and I pull all the lighter color from it. So I go to lighter color and now I have both versions of the light. So you can see what a difference it makes and how dynamic it looks. So now I've got a lot more glow around my body. My avatar looks a lot more glowy and soft. It just makes it look a lot more interesting. And if I want to clean up some, say maybe I don't want all of this on my face, I can select the layer that I have done the lighter color to. And I can create a layer mask by clicking this here, down here. And then I can just paint with a paintbrush in black over any parts that I don't want. So I can shrink this down, probably want to reduce my flow to maybe seven so that I don't take away too much at once. And then I can just sort of erase the parts that I don't really want. So if there's any excess light or shadow that you don't actually want, you can just remove that using a layer mask. So this is how you can do it with light. And like I said before, it works best if you're using the same wind light and just moving the light around. But you can use it on separate wind lights. It's just not as reliable that the lighter color will pull out only certain details. So another example of this is to do this with shadows. So I've got this picture here which has shadows. 
And then I've got this picture here, which is very detailed. So this is an ambient type of photo of this particular head because I really wanted to show the skin detail on this piece. So what I want to do is I want to take this one here and I want to paste it onto this one, which I've actually already done. So here I've got the one with the shadows on it. And then here I have the very detail-oriented ambient light of the skin. So I'll select the shadow layer. I'll go to my blending modes. And instead of lighten, this time I will choose darker color. So here you can see I started with this and then I pulled all these darker colors out of the piece. So now I have both detail and I have shading. And you can also reduce the opacity. Say I want only some of this shadow. See here how it's just lightening up. So now I can have a little bit of a subtle shadow. And I still have lots of definition. So this is not very pretty because the details have been washed away by the Second Life lighting system. But it does give me very strong shadows, which I want. So I combine the two to create an effect that has both options, the detail and the shadows, without having to sacrifice one or the other. So you can use darker color for shadows and for light showing on the skin. You can show using the light here, lighter color. I keep saying light and darken, but actually lighter color and darker color. I don't want to confuse you because there's actually a lighten. <laughs> so lighter color and darker color. Darker color for pulling out the shadows and lighter color for pulling out the lights. So that's it. It's an easy way to pull together more lights onto your image without having to go through lots of effort to create the effects either using Photoshop brushes or by combining the pictures and then like taking layer masks and all that crazy stuff. Instead, you can just do overlays basically with blending modes and create the same effect. So that's it. Using this effect, you can create photos like this and have all that pretty glowy light or photos like this where you've got that detail and that shadow at the same time. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, feel free to leave them below. Any requests or comments, also feel free to leave them. You can contact me on Flickr, here on YouTube, or in World. And that's it. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.